which you guys got another video here for you. Windows 10 users need to change this setting right now. Microsoft have announced that they are now opening the beta channel for Windows Insider for Windows 10. So they're basically reopening uh, the Insider program, uh, which means that they are going to now be pushing feature updates onto Windows 10 again. Why they're doing this, I really don't know, uh, because Windows 10 ends on October 14th, 2025. So I'm not sure why they're trying to force feature updates on you. I've got a good idea that it's probably to do with uh, Copilot and other AI and probably recall and stuff like that. So if you don't want to receive any feature updates, but you still want to receive security updates, then I'm going to show you basically what you can do here. Because if you don't want to update your version of Windows 10, for instance, we're on 22H2 here. If you don't want to be forced on to 23H2, which will then have a load of other bloat on it, then this video is definitely for you. Because Microsoft could be looking to try to force more bloat onto Windows 10. And if you don't want it, then you definitely want to turn these settings off. Now I'm running Windows 10 Pro here, 22H2, as you can see right here. And I want to stop it and keep it on 22H2. Now, again, it's entirely up to you whether you want to completely turn off feature updates. You'll still receive security updates. It's perfectly safe. It just means you won't get all of the latest features, i.e. Uh, Copilot and uh, Recall and all the other stuff that they might want to start pushing onto you on Windows 10. So first off, if you're on Windows 10 Pro and above, you can use the Group Policy Editor by typing GP edit in the search box. Don't worry for home users, I'll show you how to do it in the registry after this. But go to computer configuration, administrative templates, and then Windows components. And then once you're in that location, what you want to do here is come all the way down to where it says Windows Update. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So I'm going to come down, Windows Update is right here. And once we're inside there, go over to the right hand pane. And what we want to do here is first off, we're going to deal with the uh, feature updates. So go into Windows Updates for Business. Inside here, you'll see select the targeted feature update version. This is where we can tell Windows that what version we want to stay on. So we're on 22H2. So we need to enable this uh, policy. And once we're here, we can now go to this section right down here call it, say, for instance, Windows 10, because that's what we're on. And we're going to be doing Windows 10. If you're on Windows 11, you can do this as well. So we're going to go Windows 10. Let me type that correctly. There we go. And in the target version for the feature update, we're going to be putting in here 22H2. So that's what version we want to stay on. And you will put the version that you want to stay on in this box right here. So we're going to click Apply and OK here. And now we'll be sticking to 22H2 and no changes will happen. You will still receive security updates. It just means you'll be stuck on 22H2 until you make a change. So let's go ahead now and take care of the automatic updates and make them manual so we can then install the updates when we want rather than being tricked or forced into updating. So this is basically how you can set this up right here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to the Windows Update section here. So we're in the Windows Update for Business. Let me go back one here and we'll go into the Windows Update. Inside here, what you're looking for is Configure Automatic Update. So let's go ahead and look for that inside the list here. There it is, Configure Automatic Updates. Double click on this one. And now what we've got is another box and we need to enable this feature here and you can now configure this to your liking. Now, if you look here under this section here, it says number two, notify for download and auto install. So it's gonna notify you that there's a download available for you, but it won't install it until you agree. So that's what you can do right here. So notify for download and auto install is the option. Now there is some other settings on here as well uh, that you can take a look at but we're going to leave it on this one right here. And you can do this uh, during the certain time, so a, a scheduled time that you can set it up for uh, if you want to. 
And there's also some information on the right hand pane here that gives you information of what it actually does. So read the information on the right and make sure you're selecting the right one for your needs. Once you've got that set, you can then come down and configure this bit if you want to. I'm going to leave this as is, and that should be good enough for what we want to do here. Now we have full control of our Windows updates. We can install them when we want to, and we can also uh, block out any sort of feature updates and stay on the version that we're on and stop being forced to install any feature updates that Microsoft might be trying to force on you in the foreseeable future for Windows 10. Okay, so let's assume that you're on Windows 10 Home now and you don't have Group Policy Editor, then you will need to open up the Registry Editor. From here, we're going to make a Registry Backup first because you should always make a backup or a System Restore Point just in case you want to revert back. So select Computer here, go File and go to Export and then you can give it a name called Backup and save it in a location of your choice and this will make a backup of your registry and you can roll back if you want to uh, make changes or in case something goes wrong. You can also set up a system restore point if you want to. If you use system restore points then you can do that. I'm pretty sure you know how to do that by now. So there we are. So we now have a backup of our registry right here. It's only a small backup as you can see and you can store that wherever you like. Okay so let's go into the registry and make some registry edits. So we're going to go to HKey Local Machine here, come down, go to Software, open this one up here, and we're going to come all the way down here to where it says Policies, open that up, go to Microsoft, open that one up there, and we want to come down to Windows. And inside Windows, what we need to do is now we need to create a new key. So the first new key we're going to create is Windows Update. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to right click here and we're going to go new and we'll create a new key inside here. On the windows, just create new key. And now we can give it a name. So we're going to call this windows update, all one word, no space. And now we're inside there on the right hand pane, we can now create some new key values. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click and we're going to go to new string value and then we need to give this a name so we're going to call this product version now the product version is going to be at windows 10 so let's go ahead and double click on that and call this windows 10 just like so and put windows 10 in here click ok and now we need to do another key so right click and go new d word 32 bit value this time and we need to give this a name. So we're going to call this target, release, and then version. And typing's all over the place today, but there we go. That's now done. Now we need to double click on this and give this a data value. So we're going to give this a data value of one. So double click and let's give this a value data of one. And we just need to create another entry after we've done this one and this one needs to be a string value so let's right click and create a new string value and the string value is going to be target release and then we need to go version and then info and then once we give this this um, name here we need to give this a a target version that we want to stay on for instance this is going to be 22 h2 or whatever version that you want to stay on so let's go ahead and we're going to double click on this entry here and we're going to give this a value data of 22 h2 in our case so there we go click ok and that's now done so we want to now set the automatic updates to manual so on the windows updates folder Go new key and call this a u just like so now on the right hand pane we need to give it a, a few keys so let's go ahead and create a new d word 32 bit value entry here so we're going to go down d word 32 bit value i'm going to call this a u options so once we've done this double click on this entry here and inside here we need to give this a value of two and that's the value that we were setting up on our group policy. So that was option two. 
Next, we can create another entry inside here. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And this is going to be another new DWORD 32-bit value entry. And this is the last entry that you need to do. So no auto update. So we need to put that entry right in here. And we can now double click on that entry and give this a value of one. And this is just telling the machine that we don't want to do automatic updates and we want to make it manual. So let's go ahead and click OK here. And now we're done. So we can now restart the PC. And if you want to stay on the version that you're on, then this is exactly what you need to do right now. Otherwise, once Microsoft starts to roll out feature updates, they're going to be testing them. And of course, once they test them and they roll them out to the general public, they will be there available for you and they will go ahead and they could force them and install them on your system. And if you don't want them, then that you definitely need to set this up. So I'm going to quickly restart the system here, update and restart because there were some updates available and these were just security updates. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Once we're back at our computer, we can now go into update and security here and you should now see some settings are managed by your organization and this is obviously the policies that we've set in place you can see install now is now set to manual and we can install this ourselves and get the latest updates as soon as they are available is grayed out and that is your feature updates it's not going to pull those down so that's exactly what you want to set yours as if you don't want feature updates next we can view the configured update policies if you want to ever find out what policies are set in place, click on this one here, and it will tell you all of the policies that you've set on this device for the Windows updates. And you can see all of these are set right here. So these are the ones we've got set up. And if you want to remove them, you can do and go back to having a normal uh, update in sequence. But if you don't, then leave those in place and you won't be forced to have, um, you know, feature updates on Windows 10. So if you're one of those people that just wants to receive security updates and you don't want to opt into this new feature update, which Microsoft might be forcing onto you on Windows 10, then you can turn it off just like that. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.